In the studio, we've been going through a lot of drone footage, and I've been realizing when you're recording 4K, you need some massive amounts of storage, whether it's the Mini or the regular size DJI Mavic 3 Pro Sign, which we've got. It does take quite a bit of storage capacity, which will take a lot of SD cards, so make sure if you do ever have one of these systems, you do have a bunch of SD cards with a lot of space, as well as some type of external hard drive to save all your footage on. So that's why we went out and got the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD, 4 terabyte SSD. It is super compact and even clippable on key type storage device with ultra fast data transfer by USB-C and it comes with its own cable and conversion so if you don't have a USB-C to USB-C you could always use the regular USB-C to USB-A. Now you're definitely going to want to format this to whatever file system you're using whether it's Windows we're going to set it up on Windows first for you and then we're going to go to Mac because that's where we're going to end up with it in total so let's get into our system you'll want to install the security for Windows which is basically the one thing you'd want to install which comes with once you've installed that you'll go into your disk management and format your disk to whatever you want either xfat or ntfs whichever one you prefer or need which i don't know the difference really too much about the two but it will be up to you and what you want to format to maybe google and look more into it but once you have it formatted you're ready to start saving your footage whatever you're going to be saving on there if you're going to do photos or music or whatever just make sure you name your folders properly and start adding your storage after now setting up for mac users as well as myself once you've plugged in your SSD you'll find it and you can install and extract all that software if you do want it it's not exactly necessary but we're just gonna install it for the hell of it just to show you so you press and double click it once it's on the desktop you will then run it and install it once you are done installing I don't even think I'll use it but I mean it is some kind of level of security next you'll want to head over to the spotlight search bar and search for disk utility open up the disk utility and once you have opened up your disk utility you'll want to format your SSD so you have it set for the proper formatting for Apple computers so you don't have any issues losing any of your data. Again, you will want to Google all the different Apple format types and which one will suit for you. I'm just going with APFS. That's something simple. And then from there, we're going into our Final Cut Pro and making a new library and making a new storage space for our stem cell journey because you should check out the channel, subscribe, like the video, and beyond that, check out how to support us by going into the description and going to puffbro.etsy.com to buy some of the 3D prints that we have available. And thanks for hanging out for this video. We're going to be back with the stem cell tutorial very soon. All thanks to the sand disk because we do not have enough storage on our computer to be able to edit and do all of it. So we're going to be dedicating it to there. Thanks for checking out the video. Stay elevated and peace out.